In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four perspective steps in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click the first step comes, you can see here I have added the step one with the shadow effect. Here I have given some dark color and then with the shadow effect I have added the title detail text along with the icon and when I click it will show you the step two in the different color then step three and step four likewise i have created one more slide where i have just used one different color only and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray background then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert and the orange so orange point you just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice then go to rotate I'm going to rotate left 90 degrees all right and then just put it here and if you want you can just make it more increase the width or the height also then once this is done i'm going to add one more rectangle which is i'm going to cover from the top to bottom you can see here this much size shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give some uh, light color uh, later on i'm going to give a gradient fill but before that let me just select this one press ctrl d to duplicate rotate and I'm going to make it flip horizontal, reduce the size and I'm just going to increase it, the height you can see here, something like this. And make sure that it should not be placed exactly, it has to be somewhat up, okay, like this. Then go to insert shapes, I'm going to select one more rectangle, draw the rectangle, something like this. You can see here the bottom point and the top point here which is I have aligned shape outline no outline and shape fill you can give any uh, color as of now and later on we can change it then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert shapes I'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here like this shape outline no outline and rotate I'm going to make it flip horizontal and I'm going to make it let me just make it this one flip vertical all right and make sure that it is properly aligned all right so you can see here it's properly aligned here and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d bring the other side and i'm going to make it again flip horizontal and then i'm going to select flip vertical and again align it properly okay this is very important okay and then this one it should be touching this point here all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key and select this uh, blue right triangle merge shape and i'm going to subtract it and this also i'm going to select and merge shape i'm going to subtract it so i end up getting a shape something like this and this one you can give some dark color okay so you can go to the format shape and i'm going to the properties The system is somewhat slow today no idea why it is but we'll just wait for this yeah right go to fill color and i'm going to more colors and i'm just increasing the shade something like this all right so you can see here it looks something like this let me just remove the guides here now again if you want you can just increase the size also here like this all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline no outline and select gradient fill here uh, by default it will be four so first stop i'm going to make it a uh, black and this one i'm going to choose the same uh, color which we have used for uh, the background all right and this one make it complete transparent and bring this one here tilt a little bit with the help of this okay and then send this to back so you can see here the it looks something like this all right and press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other size 
other side and rotate it maybe I can change the direction you can see here like this and again tilt somewhat down increase the size and send this two back all right again if you want somewhat tilt only I'm going to do and I'm going to place it like this so you can see here the shadow effect has been created and this one if you want I can just make it more here the position I'm going to change the position here all right so it looks more realistic then go to insert shapes I'm going to select the old shape draw the old shape by holding the shift key and exactly put it here shape outline no outline shape will make it white and you can give some shadow effect here all right so with this we have completed the design now it's time to add some text so i can just add equals lorem within bracket one so let me just type once again okay so it gives me some text i'm going to delete the long text i'll make it somewhat short reduce the size and if you want you can give a title also here and i'm going to add one more to the right side where i'm going to say step make it bold center align and put it here and then i'm going to add one more text box where i'm going to say zero one center align make it bold increase the size you can see here and then just put it here then these things i can just select and i can align it properly and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can add some icons also so now it's easy i'm going to select all hold the control shift key together and then just drag it this is my second my third and this is the fourth right so this is my second step this is my third step and this is the fourth step now depending on your requirement you can just change the color as you like and i'm going to select all and i'm going to move it somewhat up so you can see here you can either make it one color or you can just go and give some different color combination you can see here like this and for this i'm going to give some more darker color like this all right and the last thing if you want to do some animation you can just do the animation so for that you need to group this let me just group this all right press ctrl g to group it i can just do like this also ctrl g to group it group it and this side also i'm going to group it ctrl g just group one by one and then here also the last one group it let me just go to the animations close the format shape enable the animation pane and here i'm going to give a wipe effect this wipe effect i can just make it from right and this also i'm going to give the wipe effect it's taking some time today something wrong with the pc i believe okay so this one as well as this one all i'm going to give a wipe effect here and should happen from right should happen after previous and this also should be after previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here so same animation effect you can add it to the rest of the options